I think the initiative is a wonderful thing. It's very, very generous in its lack of constraints, although Tangley, as the catalyst for the initiative, gives one a very, very large field in which to experiment because Tangley's work involves the relationship between the artist, the spectator, the art object, the institution, notions of creation, but also destruction. Um, Tangley is a carte blanche. You can do anything you like, but within certain very interesting parameters. And it's the uh, constraint of those interesting parameters which have focused the minds of the over 200 submissions we've been looking at. The submissions have been extraordinarily wide-ranging, and of course there have been some very, very young artists, some straight out of art school and some very, very established artists. Uh, but it's interesting that the appeal of the commission was such that that wide range was involved. Uh, and um, I, I remember one or two projects that didn't quite make it that I'm particularly fond of. I'm not mentioning any names, but that have really responded to the the creativity and the wackiness, but also the poetry of Jean Tangley's work. And I'd like to wish, uh, via your media, all the artists who didn't quite make it, all the best, and to continue in the spirit which inspired them. Brigitte Ziger, whose submission to us was based on uh, a kind of very French wallpaper with a very old 18th century history, which in French is called Toile de Jouy. And I appreciated both the very, very delicate femininity and the wit and the close relationship with Nikki de saint Fal and the female artist who's shooting um, everything, the establishment, that comes out of this wallpaper. In all this, um, one could venture he-man technology, there's also this um, feminine contribution which is witty enough and sharp enough and explosive enough and attacking enough of the audience to be a very strong piece.